Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick flip through of my first few weeks in my Hobonichi Cousin daily spreads for 2022. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Thanks everyone. All right, let's get right into it. So hopefully 2022 has been treating you all very well. Um, as you will see shortly, uh, 2022, the beginning of 2022 has been a little bit rough for me. I do want to show you before we hop into the daily pages, a quick flip through of my weekly spreads, um, just so you can see in comparison. If you're interested in a, I guess, more in-depth talk through about how I set these pages up, I will link one of those in the card section up above. All right, let's hop into my dailies. So I'm just going to, I guess, start off by um, expressing that I did. One of the things I didn't love about the Hobonichi Cousin when I first purchased it was I was extremely intimidated by the size of the daily pages. I just felt like it ha it set this expectation or I set this expectation of myself to have to journal a whole A5 size page every day. And I will tell you before we do a flip through of over 20 pages that there's no way in my life, I think I'll ever be able to discipline myself such that I'm journaling a A5 size page on a daily basis. I struggle enough with my Hobonichi weeks. Um, so you definitely shouldn't have that fear or have that be the reason you're not loving your Hobonichi cousin. Um, so as you can see for days one and the monthly spread, I have nothing. Uh, it's bothering me a little bit, but I'm, at this point, I'm probably not going to go back. Um, but I just want to put out there that more than half of these pages, I didn't journal on the day of. I actually went back after the fact and did maybe like two or three days at a time in a saying. So hopefully that um, is helpful or meaningful to you all uh, if you are struggling with the same fears as I did, that it's really just not, not something you should be afraid of. All right, so starting on the second and the third, um, I journaled here on the left. I found this happy planner sticker. It says, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. And what I loved about this sticker is I think many of us in the planner community know that um, these purchases uh, for planner supplies really start to add up uh, very quickly. And it seems to be a common theme for um, planner folks to, uh, sorry, strive to, I guess, spend less. <laughs> Uh, at least that is something for that's something that I always strive for um, every year and I don't think that I ever really do a good job at that um, and it's it's really not just on my planner hobby it's also on crafting and things that I enjoy I just really do like to buy a lot of things <laughs> so I thought that this um, was a great sticker to pair with my planner expenses for 2022 I created a very simple spread here to track um, hopefully all of my expenses in 2022 because I think like indicator number one that I spent too much is probably if I exceed this allotted space here on the right. Um, but what's not included here are my expenses for school supplies, which are also um, in the planner like stationary realm. So I think I'm cheating a little bit, but that's okay. So I journal a little bit about how uh, what my goals are for 2022 to spend a little bit less and use what I have. All right, so into the fourth and the fifth, um, as you can see on the fourth, I journaled a little bit about feeling just a little bit lost uh, at work and with school and things these days. Um, I think I have just too many like large milestones happening at the same time in my life right now <laughs> that I'm, I'm finding it really difficult to focus on one i'm typically it's a, it's just so much easier to focus like on a promotion working towards a promotion or focus on school and only one thing at a time right now i feel like we're trying to do it all <laughs> and uh, to be honest based on my discussions with my husband i feel like we're always trying to do it all um, but yeah so i just journaled a little bit about that here and that while i'm feeling overwhelmed I choose to shine so and that's why I picked this happy planner sticker here and then I was also playing around with some of my um, Archer and Olive Calligraph pens I absolutely love this yellow color I think it's called mustard and this is the color that I've been using in my Hobonichi weeks to draw sunshine on the sunny days so 
Over here on the right, um, this this is the list that probably should have been um, on day one of January, but it was basically a brain dump space for my January task list. I tried to break it up into different categories using my DIY um, planner stickers and my clean um, color, my zig clean color dot marker. I always get confused. There's just so many words all smushed together. Um, but yeah, so I just used a platinum color to draw a little check dots, I guess, and then mark them off as I go. And I actually completed some more of these items that I need to go in and check them off. Um, it's kind of hard to find or like train myself to come back to this list when I have um, running task lists uh, during my in my weekly spreads that I reference every day. Um, so I'm not sure what to do about that. I might just use this as a brain dump space to kind of get onto paper the things that I need to get done in January or February for next month um, and then transfer that on a weekly basis to my weekly spreads. I'm not really sure. So for the 6th and the 7th, as you can see, I got lots of journaling in. Um, this is actually right before I started school. And I was feeling really overwhelmed uh, with all the reading and things that I had to get done. Um, I had to take a bunch of assessment tests, like math assessments and things, and writing assessments before I started class. So I was, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And I took a moment, like a very much needed quiet moment um, before classes started the following week to journal. So I journaled a little bit on the left here. Um, I used this happy planner sticker that says happy plans um, to, just to remind myself it was actually uh, friends of ours that reminded us of this um, similar concept that we kind of we we have control over how we define what happy is to us so I journaled about that and that if we are unhappy then we have really two options right we can either redefine what happy is to meet us where we are now or we can do what it takes to get to where happy is um, or where we consider happy to be so i just turned a little bit about that just it you know it was a great reminder that really short discussion with our friends um, and sometimes we just need that little reminder so on the seventh um this is really embarrassing but i've never been really great i've, I've never been a good reader um, I've always loved math uh, because it didn't require me. It didn't always require me to um, be great at reading. My brother is an excellent reader. Um, very, very uh, quick. I take a really long time, and I tend to like whatever is past skimming. That's what I do. I'll, I'll start reading, and I'll see the first word, and then suddenly I'm at the bottom of the paragraph, and I don't even know how I got there. <laughs> So it takes a lot of focus for me to actually sit down, read, and absorb what I'm reading. Um, so I was really proud of myself. I uh, picked this sticker here that says celebrate every tiny victory because I was able to read two whole books <laughs> in just uh, like five days. So I was, I was really, really happy about that. I know it sounds really silly, but I am definitely not great at reading. <laughs> So on to days eight and nine, um, I used the left here as a to-do list here. Um, once again, with my safe clean color dot marker and platinum, just a quick to-do list before I transferred into my Hobonichi A6 English planner for school. So these were all the items that I needed to get done before school started. And as you can see, I didn't do all of it in school. That first week is done. So. <laughs> Um, that's that's kind of sad here and then also on this day that's different from all of the other days where I've been trying to kind of ignore like this um, hourly breakdown of the day on the left I actually used that on the 8th to help um, I guess plan my day and in a very informal way so in the weekly spreads I tried to do it after I've already completed the tasks um, and put them in like a the general order that I completed it around the times that I completed it here I really tried to stick with um, you know I want to do this 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 and this like in this order in the day before lunch and then after dinner so that was kind of my benchmark there <laughs> and then over here on the right I use more of my happy planner stickers I love happy planner stickers and my ferris wheel press um, fountain pen and ink so you can see here I've smudged it for some reason I think it's the um, the lotion or maybe it's my natural oils that like just smudges <laughs> this ink but I still absolutely love this pen and this ink um, I might have to start using it in a, like my Midori MD notebooks instead but 
yeah so i just use this to journal to give encourage myself to stay positive and finish strong because i was really struggling like i said to get this test list done before school but boy did i not know <laughs> what I had coming to me at the following week so I thought that was bad and then residency started this week so th these are the pages on um, the next about 10 days that I did not journal at all and this had to um, I actually ended up having to come back and do like two or three pages at a time um, after classes had ended and I finished all of the reports that I had to write and hand in <laughs> um, so they're not really date specific and you can see that I, I slacked a little and used relied a lot on stickers so here we go on the 10th and 11th um, I was just journaling about my first day of school and all of the many crazy aha moments that I had this week um, it was over it was probably over 12 hours of zoom calls on a daily basis for six days and then two days of report writing afterwards it was really intense um, but aside from the, the stress of it it was great to meet a bunch of new people from all different backgrounds um, i've typically only really been surrounded by engineers for most of my career so i've been learning so much um, just in the way of just even about personalities you know because past um, beyond the x amount of years that i spent in my career around engineers i spent that like that many more years in undergrad with a bunch of engineers as well <laughs> So um, it's just been a great learning experience um, and it's uh, I'm just trying really hard to like absorb all of the information at this very quick pace that it's all happening. Um, but yeah. So I journaled about that there, it's a really long way to talk about that. I journaled a little bit about some of the assessment tests that I had to take before class started and all of the reading that we've been having to do because in addition to reading those two books leading into this week, we had uh, reading assignments every night um, and it wasn't like a couple articles articles it was like 20 articles or more and i'll be really honest i didn't complete the readings um and i can't say that my classmates also didn't because i feel like some of them did <laughs> don't know how they did it um and then over here on the 12th um this is a great example of how i used either stickers or washi tape um, to take up some space in my daily spreads. If you've been watching my other videos, I had recently hauled a mystery grab bag and two subscription boxes from Simply Gilded. So I took the opportunity this week or following this week to use a few of those pages to do washi swatches. So I can take a look at the how it truly looks. Like for example, this one looks so different. Um, on the roll from on paper and it's not really just that one most of them do and some of them have um for example here try to see like this one here from the iceland subscription box has a very long run i actually didn't test the whole thing because i didn't want to waste it but it's a scenery here in iceland um and then i took pictures of this and i'm trying to post it on instagram so if you guys are interested in seeing that uh, you can check out eternal flame by katie um, and I will put that in the description box down below. If you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this mystery grab bag from Simply Gilded, I will link that in the card section up above. And then so on the right, I just journaled about all the things that I've purchased that's on, on Simply Gilded or from Simply Gilded. And on the 14th, I journaled a little bit about exactly what I was telling you before about all meeting all of these new different personalities and different people from all different backgrounds and experiences and um, my experience with working with them in a team setting working on presentations so and then over here is a washi swatch of my simply gilded subscription box i believe from december of 2021 uh, it's called the stay golden subscription box so if you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this as well as the iceland box which is swatched over here i will leave that in the card section up above all right and then into the 16th and the 17th um, I used some more of my Happy Planner stickers. I really liked this one here where it said, make yourself proud um, because <laughs> there was a lot of moments of like doubt during this week and following. Um, and I also picked the sticker that says, good things take time to remind myself that this degree is going to take two years to be exact. Um, or if I wanted to be more exact, 22 months. <laughs> and but um it will all be worth it in the end and you are worth it so i journaled about 
you know, just getting it done, sticking in there and trying my best to survive <laughs> these next few years. And then over here on the right on the 17th, I journaled about all of those crazy emotions about wanting to cry, <laughs> but not actually having time to cry during the week. So that was good. Um, and then also some regret about or some doubt about why I'm doing this, um, you know, why I've decided to go on this journey and what I thought it was supposed to be and what it actually is. Um, but also more importantly, how grateful I've been for all of the support that I've received from my family, friends, and of course my husband. Um, at first it was supposed to be in person this whole week and um, it was beyond the five business working days. We were supposed to spend, I think, six days together in person. And I was deeply, deeply disappointed at first because it was kind of like a last minute switch due to COVID, I guess. <laughs> um, and so we were all, I think, very disappointed. I, I realized that later. And it wasn't, it wasn't just the students that were disappointed. I think um, the staff as well, you know, were looking forward to being back in person and meeting all the students and um and just seeing everyone happy and like i know that they spent a lot of time like administrative wise to just booking the hotel and booking all of the appointments and things and so we were all really disappointed um so i tried not to be as upset about it because i know that it wasn't really anyone's fault <laughs> definitely not the people that send out the emails <laughs> that tell you that it got canceled it definitely wasn't their fault you know um so i was just so so i was really disappointed at first and then after the first day or two i realized that i probably worked out for the best um because without the support of my husband during the week i don't know that i would have survived um so if it was in person um he probably would not have been there at all at least while we were virtual, the few breaks that we got, I had an opportunity to eat lunch with him and vent to him um, and see him at night, which I would not have been able to do in person. So um, yeah, I guess it wasn't so bad. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise and I didn't catch COVID. So <laughs> there's always that too. And then also the amazing support of my family as well, who just like sporadically dropped off food um, and snacks and things and treats for me uh, during the week and just coordinated with my husband knowing how busy I was and just like really, I'm just so grateful for all of the support. And then on the 18th, like I said, I just did a washi swatch of my Iceland subscription box from Simply Gilded. Over here on the 19th, I was feeling more hopeful and I uh, journaled about praying that I survive and hoping that I thrive. And thank you so much. <laughs> and then into the 20th and the 21st, I think I had much, I've been way past um, the first week. However, still struggling to get through homework and things because it's just insane and i think the transition from working full time to going back to school but also still being working or still working full time um i'm still trying to figure it all out and, and find some work-life balance there um it's not even work life it's like work life and school balance <laughs> um so you'll see a lot of uh journaling about uh trying to figure that out <laughs> So on the 20th, I was feeling a little bit more productive. I've been kind of like um, pushing through a lot of the homework and getting myself in the habit of studying um, again, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> and I have a little reminder here for me to relax and be happy and invest in some self-care. And it was really funny. My husband actually came up while I was journaling, I think this page, and um, he wanted me to step away from my office and, um, you know, relax and be happy. So <laughs> we were sitting here. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, like, I, I don't, I need to finish this. Or I think it was on my desk maybe when I was doing homework. I don't know. And he pointed down to my paper and he's like, look, you need to relax and be happy. I was like, what? <laughs> um, so it was, it was kind of funny. It was kind of cute. And then, <laughs> and then I was just messing with him. I was like, why are you reading my journal? <laughs> which my journal was open to everyone, right? Like I share it with the world. So of course my husband can read my journal. Um, over here, I just have a reminder not to freak out, but I need to pay my bills, <laughs> my med all of my medical bills that I've been racking up. And then also journaling a little bit about how I've been getting a lot of bubble tea. Uh, thank you to my dear husband. Um, but he tries to get me some bubble tea or matcha lattes to um, kind of give me a little 
pep in my step uh, when I'm really stressed. And I just journaled about how I, when I order it, I always forget to ask for less sugar, which is the only way I can take it. Um, because if not, it actually hurts my teeth <laughs> sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's a silly thing to journal about. And then over here, I think we're nearing the end here. On the 22nd and the 23rd, I journaled a little bit about the classes that I'm taking and all of the studying I did this weekend. Um, so I studied, so before I started studying for accounting and this other class, like my economics class, um, I had mostly been writing papers for my two other classes. I'm taking four different classes right now. And so, I chose this happy planner sticker that says do more of what makes you happy because math makes me happy and this weekend while I struggle through the content of these two courses I enjoyed it like this much more because it was related to math <laughs> um, so I just journaled a little bit about that here yeah and then lastly I used some of the stickers that I popped off of my Hobonichi Weeks uh, boo-boos <laughs> this past week and I brought them over into the day 24 of January and I journaled a little bit about um, I guess how I've been spending my time and some things that my husband's been learning in his leadership class this, which is actually happening this week um, and then also some of the webinars that I've been sitting on uh, not only for school but for work they're kind of all crossing paths it's really weird so my husband's learning things that are related to what we're learning about at work which is also related to what I'm learning about in my program um, so <laughs> it's been it's been really great honestly it's been really great to kind of compare notes and everything that we're learning is related and supportive of one another but not exactly the same so i journaled a little bit about that here and then also down below i journaled about mentorship and the importance of mentorship in a workplace and in life um, because that's something that i've been learning more about and hopeful to find one <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, I would really appreciate it if you all let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate if you did that to join our community. And um, thank you so much. And until next time, bye everyone.